What is up everyone? My name is Joseph and today I'm going to help you learn Zolra rotations. Now I want to preface this video by, by admitting and saying that I, I know people learn the rotations in different ways. Some people prefer having all of the rotations out as an image. Some people pr prefer just going in blind and learning it as they go. Uh, but I'm going to share with you the way I learned and I'm going to give you a tool that I made to help you learn Zolra rotations. Now, if you're unaware, I have been live streaming a lot of Zolra in preparation for the episode two of Bossing Till Broke, where the, the boss will be Zolra. And if you're not aware, I'd highly suggest going on and checking out twitch.tv slash Joseph's Place. I stream three times a week doing pretty much anything from PBM to some Iron Man content. Uh, but anyway, for the Bossing Till Broke episode, I've had to kill a lot of Zolra. And when I started filming for this episode, I really wasn't that comfortable with the boss to the point where I had the rotations memorized. So I went back to the way that I had originally learned Zolra for my first few kills and that was to use the website zolraguide.com. Now unfortunately that website is no longer being hosted so I had to use the Wayback Machine in order to even use this site and that was just really clunky and I didn't like getting to it and I always forgot how to get to it and it just wasn't easy for me so to make things easier I decided to make my own version of this website and add in a few settings and features that I would have liked. So the first thing I want to do in this video is just explain how to use it and later on I want to actually explain why and why this specific method helped me to learn Zolra and why it might help you. But to use this site is very simple. It's made to be to be viewed in a very narrow browser. So what you need to do is load up the site, narrow your browser down, and then put this browser next to your game window. The only next step is to start a Zolra fight, attack Zolra, and then the second phase, you have to choose which of the three options it is, and then it will take you down that path. Now, the only caveat here is that if you have a melee phase as your second phase, there will be one more option, but it displays everything on screen that you'll need to know. It'll explain what phase three is, it'll explain what the possible phase fours are, and then all you'll have to do is make one extra click to see the rest of the phases in this rotation. Now, if you do end up going past the amount of phases that are displayed for any specific rotation, it basically just resets. So you'll have to click the reset button and start from the beginning. Uh, but in reality, most of your kills shouldn't last that long if you have any any decent gear. Uh, but if they do end up lasting that long, you can just reset to go back to the beginning. And that's how the Zolra rotations work. And when you do finish a kill, you can just click the reset button instead of having to refresh and it will reset it back to the default uh, phases and rotations so you can start a new kill fresh. Uh, now I want to go over some of the settings I have just to make you aware of them. So if you click on the settings tab under the little title here, you can either change the theme of the site to be a dark theme like it is by default, or you, you can make it into a light theme if you enjoy your retinas being burned. Uh, either one based on your personal preference. Another option I have here is to change the style of the images from simple, which is just black on white with some colors to actual screenshot or the realistic is what I called it of actually looking at the Zolra encounter from the top down. For me, it would have made a little it would have made a little more sense while I was starting the boss to know exactly where to stand as the black on white, which is what Zolra guide used. Uh, black and white is a little bit confusing if you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. So I decided to add that option. And then I did add the option to rotate the images if you want to see them at a different angle. Nothing really complicated with these settings, but I did just want to make you aware of them because I think they may help you. Uh, at least the, the realistic or the image style in the rotation I think would have helped me uh, early on while learning Zolra. And I just wanted to make people aware of them. Uh, so that's really it. That's all there is to the site. You put the browser next to your game, you start a kill, and then you just click through the options and it will tell you exactly what phases to expect. Now what I want to do is explain why this helped me and why it might help you rather than using one of the other options available to learning Zara, which again could be something like having an image of all the rotations all at once or going in blind or trying to memorize them right off the bat. So the reason I like using something like this is because it's so specific and condensed. I don't get distracted by having to worry about losing my place with all the other rotations, and I don't have to worry about relying on my own memory in order to know what to do. In my opinion, one of the most difficult things with learning the Zolra encounter is actually the positioning and knowing where to stand and knowing what to expect. And using a tool like this kind of eliminates all of that, all of that difficulty. And you can kind of learn the encounter, get comfortable with the encounter, and then take the next step at committing the rotations to memory. But right off the bat, kind of removing this difficulty from the equation makes learning and being, becoming comfortable with the encounter much easier. 
And like I mentioned before, since this is so specific and only shows you the rotations or the phases specific to the rotation you have, you don't have to worry about losing your place or getting confused with knowing which which rotation to be to be looking at. That was one of the problems I had when I tried learning Zora originally. If I looked at all of the images and all the rotations at the same time, since I was a little bit stressed with the boss, not knowing what to do, I would lose my place and then end up dying. So what, what this website or what the original website allowed me to do is just look specifically and exactly of what phase to expect next and only the phases to expect in the rotation. And it helped me personally not to get distracted or to get lost. And those really are the reasons why I found Zolra Guide so helpful and why I decided to make my own version of it because maybe someone else out there may be helped by this as well. I was planning on just making this for myself, but in the end, uh, some people in the stream mentioned that they'd like to have access to it too, so I decided to host it on GitHub and release it out there. Uh, the, the beauty of this being on GitHub, though, is that you can pull it down and modify it however you want, or you can post an issue or have an update made to it if I have the time to do it. So if there's an additional feature or a setting that you may find helpful, you're able to easily add it if you have the expertise or request it in a much more straightforward manner. So with that being said, if there is something like that, be sure to let me know either in the comments here or in the issues tab on GitHub. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but the link, out, of course, will be in the description of this video to both the GitHub repository and the website itself. Uh, but I did want to release this just because I think there are people out there who would enjoy the Zora Guide website. And since that's down, would enjoy a nice replacement that doesn't involve going through the Wayback Machine in order to access this. So I, I hope someone out there is able to use this and I hope it helps you. If you have any questions specifically about this, let me know again in the comments or you can use the issues tab on GitHub as well. But that is all I have for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and I hope it helps you if you are trying to learn Zora. Uh, the Bossing Till Broke Zora edition will be out or should be out later this week. There's very few supplies left, so we're getting just the end of the Zora kills. If you do want to watch the Zora kills live, again, twitch.tv slash Joseph's Place. I stream pretty much all of the Bossing Till Broke content as well as some other, some other things. So if that's anything that interests you, head on over to that. But like I said, that is all I have for this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you next time.